Welcome back. Love the Salvation Army and our friend Brad Mayhar. Uh, it's not often he's upstaged, but I'm afraid today he's being upstaged because uh, we have an Olympic gold medalist here in the studio. Uh, Laurie Hernandez is here. It's great to see both of you. Oh, thank you for having um, us. And how lucky are you to have uh, Laurie on board here <laughs> to help with what you're doing at the Salvation uh, Army? Oh, we're excited. I mean, we can't wait for today. We've had it on our calendar for some time, and yes. she's awesome. So you obviously, you Dancing with the Stars, Olympics, all kinds of things, uh, but you've taken on things like this, you know, helping out causes like the Salvation Army. Why is that, Lori, so important to you? Well, I mean, growing up, my mom always reinforced how important it was to help others and give back to the community. She always told me that whatever I was doing in life to make sure that I was giving back. So I felt that this was important and this was one way to do that. We were talking, Brad, earlier on social media about how the Salvation Army, you guys can take a dollar and make it go a long way. and, and it's, it sounds cliche sometimes, but literally every little donation helps. Every, every bit helps. I mean, even if you can donate just one dollar or if you just want to give of your time, anything right. makes a difference. Right, right. So as the Olympics go, I mean, 2020 mm -hmm. might seem like a long way away for, you know, for Tokyo and those kinds of things. Where are you in terms of the preparation for all that? Um, I'm starting to come back. I've taken about a two year break. So the hope is that I'm competing by 2019, but I miss it so much. So I'm hoping to be out there pretty soon. And you and, I mean, it's no secret here, I mean, you and other gymnasts have taken on this role as advocates and you've been outspoken with everything that's happened in the headlines. I won't get into all of that now, but, but that's been something that's important for you to do. Um, yeah, it's definitely there, but it's also making sure that we can give the kids the platform to do the sport that they love so much, and we can't take that away from them. What kind of an impact do you think you and your fellow gymnasts have made, just coming out and being outspoken and, and, and really just setting that example? Um, I mean, I, I sure hope a big one, but yeah. I know that it's not over yet, so we got to... Keep it going. Change still needs to happen. As it relates to the future of USA Gymnastics, what do you think? Uh, how do the prospects look? Twenty four. You know, because the Olympics, Summer Olympics, looks like it's coming to the U.S. here in yeah. another decade or so. <laughs> how, how, did, how did the gymnastics scene look for the U.S. moving forward? Um, well, you know what, the team is definitely separate than everything else. Uh, the gymnasts know exactly what they're supposed to be doing. We know. Um, how we do gymnastics. We know the points, we know how the system kind of works. So um, it's definitely on us to make sure that things go the way that we would want them to go. Brad, had you been an Olympian, what sport <laughs> would you have excelled in? Oh man, I don't know, maybe bobsledding, just, just jump in and winter enjoy the Olympics. ride. I don't know. <laughs> A winter Olympic in, in South Texas, in South Texas. <laughs> What has been your experience working with Lori here, um, and, and just how, how much fun has it been? Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, yesterday, we had a chance to spend some time together. We did an event at Powerhouse Gymnastics with her for Salvation Army, and uh, just the first thing you notice right away is Lori's energy. Mm -hmm. Off camera, she's the same. She's awesome. Yeah. Well, you two, I mean, are pretty much rock stars on social media. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's mm -hmm. face it. I mean, we know about Lori, but you're not so bad yourself. <laughs> oh, th well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, for the young leg girls out there who are watching you or, or, and who are inspired by what you've done, what, what kind of message would you like to send out there to them? I guess the biggest message would be the one that my mom gave to me. Do what you're passionate about. Do what you love, but make sure that you're helping others along the way. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you're not helping the Salvation Army or you're not in the gym? What, what do you like to do? Oh, boy. Um, well, I'm still in high school. I have one semester left. I'm almost done. I'm a senior. Congratulations. So, <laughs> do you have good. senioritis yet or no? Um, it's definitely there. <laughs> But I'm almost there, so I just I have that motivation just to keep on going and to finish it. I'm excited. That's big for you. Well, so many exciting things are happening, and I know I speak for Brad and all of us here in San Antonio. We're just happy to have you here oh, thank and that you. you give some of your valuable time here. So the event is sold out at the luncheon, but our friend Jeanette's going to be emceeing that. Right. And, and after today, there are so many other opportunities to help the Salvation Army. So how can people, Brad, get in touch with you? Uh, people can get in touch with us. They can call 352-2000 or follow us on our Facebook page, Salvation Army SATX. And, uh, We'll uh, get them plugged into the next event. Check out their antics on Instagram as well and all of that here. Mm -hmm. They're a lot of fun on social media. And uh, Lori will stick around for a few minutes to be on daytime at 9. So we appreciate all that. Best of luck to you moving forward. And we'll see you in 2020. Woohoo! That's the plan. Yay. All right. Thank you, guys. Good to see you.